Good morning. Welcome to Divine Empowerment. I want to take a moment and um, thank everyone so much for subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing the videos. Also, too, um, this video is all about the Manifestation Blueprint series that I'm working on. And I want to take a moment to um, let you guys know that I will be doing a drawing um, for a special gift with every new 100 subscribers. So we're almost to 100 today. Yay! And um, I'll be doing a drawing for Veracruz Amethyst wrapped in sterling silver. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so now. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, share the videos. Um, like I said, I'll be adding to the drawing with every 100 subscribers, and then I'll choose one person for each 100. Okay, so last week um, we discussed vibration and how vibration creates our reality. Now this week we're going to look at that comparative, that variable in the blueprint manifestation recipe on the two ends of the spectrum, okay? Now before I get into it, um, I do want to take a moment to let you guys know that we're going to, we're breaking down the blueprint each week. We're going to be discussing a different aspect of it, okay? And I promise by the end of the series, It'll all be cohesive, um, and I'll give lots of examples, and I'll probably give some examples along the way as well. Now again, um, this week is all about vibration and changing our vibrational state of being. <laughs> okay, so the two types of vibrational shifts are one, consistent, two, variable, all right? So it's two opposite ends of that particular portion of the manifesting blueprint. And it is probably the most important part of it, okay? Um, it's, for example, let's say that you want to um, cook something. Or let's say you want to build a house. You're not going to be able to build a house without some sort of foundation, okay? If you just go out and throw up some walls and put a roof on it, the thing is going to collapse, right? same thing this would be very similar to the foundation of the blueprint okay now first we're going to talk about consistent <clears throat> consistent um, vibrational shifters or manifestors and um, we're going to look at it from musical terms we're going to say that they go up to a piano and they hit one note over and over and over very loudly, okay? And they have to be consistent. And it's focused. Focused, one new action, okay? Because remember, it takes action, okay, to shift your physical vibration. It's not about making decisions, um, you know, because that's a mental, mental thing. Now, of course, your thoughts are, you know, vibrational, but it's not enough to shift your physical vibration, okay? So, consistent. What they're going to do is they're going to hit one note over and over and over and over. So, they need one new action, okay? But in this particular uh, manifester, the consistent one, they tend to... Uh, you know, they'll try one new thing one time, no results, well, that didn't work, I'm done, you know. No, they have to do it consistently over time. Because remember, um, there is a gestation period for manifestation. And especially with consistent, because it's so focused and it's so, like, loud and annoying, their dissonance shows up much more focused and um, that can also derail them so for example if you're a consistent manifester and you pick choose one new action and let's say you carve out time for three to four times a week and you get started and let's say you do it for three weeks and all of a sudden 
you know, you have a, your car breaks down and you have a financial crisis and suddenly you don't have the money to do your action, your new action or whatever, you know, and so you just, so they tend to give up. And remember, this is so important. Consistent manifestors, this huge dissonance always shows up right before their manifestation. Okay? And it's so important that they keep going. All right? Do not stop. Keep doing your new action consistently. Just, and then you're there. So you know when this dissonance shows up, this huge problem that you have to suddenly stop and solve, do not stop consistently doing your new action, okay? Even if you have to put off fixing your car or, you know, um, are there some sort of family drama and they're like, well, why is she still going to the gym to work out two hours? You know, doesn't she understand we have a family crisis? Trust me. It'll still be there or they can resolve it on their own. It's so important that you don't give up. And most consistent manifestors, they do. They give up right before, right before their manifestation um, shows up. All right, so you want to pick out at least just one new action, one focused new action. And you want to do it at least minimum three times a week. Okay, and remember, it should make you feel slightly uncomfortable. It should be something brand new that you have never done before. Let's say, for example, you want to manifest a new financial intention and you're a consistent manifester. Well, you don't go out, and let's say you're also a, um, a musician, okay? And let's say you're like, well, I'll just create a new song. No, that's not a new action because you already currently create songs. But let's say you want to create a song in a new genre okay that's not a new action okay you have to it has to be something that you've never done before <laughs> new action remember you cannot do the same thing over and over again and expect new results okay so um now also too with consistent manifestors remember when you're dissonance shows up, you know, there's going to be something right before your manifestation shows up because you've, you've reached that tipping point where you're no longer congruently vibrational match for what is, but you're not quite the vibrational match you need to be for your manifestation. Okay. And that's what creates that dissonance. So you just have to keep going just a little bit longer. Okay, because you're almost there, which is good news. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> now we're going to discuss the other end of the spectrum, which is variable. And it's completely different. It's like, for example, musically, it's like a chord. Okay, and it has to be in harmony. So, um, <clears throat> and what that means is that they have to come up with a variety of new actions that they take all consistent with the same energy okay the same say for example um you want to manifest a new financial intention and your emotional grid for that is freedom you want more freedom so that means that a variable um manifester will have to go out and come up with you know 10 new actions and they, they don't have to be as loud. They just have to be harmony. So they want 10 new actions, all that make them feel the energy of freedom. Okay. And this is where it gets a little tricky for them too is, um, you know, back when we were discussing if you're an internal or external person, an inter internal variable person, it's very easy for them because they can just take themselves out for 10 new actions that resonate with freedom okay whereas 
Um, <clears throat> an external person needs to come up with 10 new actions on how they interact with other people that also resonates with freedom. It's a much more complicated uh, manifester. However, the actions are smaller and they're played out. So, you know, they'd have to have the freedom to, um, you know, do a variety of new things, which I'm also, uh, that is my part of my blue, manifesting blueprint is the variable aspect. So I like to do a variety of things. <laughs> I do not like structure. And if a variable person gets boxed into a structure situation, they become very unhappy. They lose their inspiration, their creativity, and, you know, often it's just, it's just a miserable place for them, okay? And if they're trying to manifest, say, a new relationship, they need the freedom and the choice to say, okay, yes, let's get together on Tuesday night, I want to see you, but let's leave it up to what we're going to do. So that gives them a little bit of variety so that when they get there, they say, okay, well, we're going to go for a hike first. And then we're going to go over here and have a picnic. I mean, and all of that has to have the energy of love. Okay. So, or if they're not in a relationship, then again, if they're internal, they can just do things for themselves that resonate with love. And if they're external, then they need to interact with other people in the same energy of love. Yes. And it can be quite confusing. Now, also, too, they have dissonance as well that shows up, but it shows up in a variety of areas in their life, okay? And it's really just annoying things, okay? For example, I've been manifesting lately, <laughs> yay, and I feel like I'm, it's about to show up because, I mean, again, it's the same way um, as the consistent manifester is it generally happens right before your manifestation. So last week, I have a cracked computer screen. You know, there's, uh, there were some scratches that are new on the boat. You know, just, I ran out of propane on the stove. It was just, oh. And then I find out that the heater, which is getting cooler at night in San Diego, runs on diesel, which means that if I run out of diesel, then I'll have to fill it up, which I can't drive the boat by myself. So <laughs> it's just like all these little annoying things. In fact, I typed a message to my to my boyfriend and I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> all these annoying, annoying things, which that's a good thing because that means I'm manifestation. I'm, I'm not quite resonating with the old <laughs> and I'm not quite with the new yet so if you look at it from that perspective you know um, it can be quite funny okay so if you're a consistent person and suddenly some major crisis happens pat yourself on the back because you're almost there keep going keep going and if you're a variable um, person and you find that suddenly you have a text message this long of every annoyed thing that's happening you're almost there okay um and you know like I said this is like the foundation of manifestation and as we go along um they will become more and more cohesive okay so just hang in there and I'll see you guys next week and don't forget to like subscribe comment Mwah.